Hello and welcome to the month of March in my Project Life album. This is the kit that I'll be using. It is, it, it is the Ali Edwards Stories by the Month kit. And I'm just going to go through the cards. These are the 3 by 4 cards. Lots of um, bright, not bright, but pastel colors, but not very light. I feel like it's sort of like an in-between. This one says, so lucky. There's that. And then I'll show you the 4x6 cards. I like this one. And this is the marketing card. This month we have these ward strips in this beautiful color. These are the chipboard pieces, always my favorite. Here's the stamp set and the wood veneer pieces. These will be fun to work with. Gotta love hearts and clouds always. <laughs> Alright, that is the kit that I will be using. Um, lately I have been using other uh, items from my stash or other kits and I might do the same for this month. I don't know. If you're interested in um, seeing how I use this kit in my March pages, stay tuned. This is what I have left over from the March kit. Stamp set, a 4x6, 3x4, chipboard, word phrases, and uh, three wood veneer. As you can see, I used a lot of the kit. I also supplemented this month with items from my stash. I have the chipboard set from last year's kit. And I think this is from 2018, I don't remember. I used the home chipboard set. I have no idea which one that was from. Actually, was this from February? I don't know. And just 3x4 cards and 4x6 cards. I've been um, using more of my stash here and there just to add more details, more embellishments, and to um, tell my stories. I kept things simple for March because I am creating another album that will have lots of details regarding COVID-19 and how it has impacted the world and obviously how it has impacted my family and I. So I didn't want to focus too much on that situation, but rather wanted to just mention it and then tell the other stories which are intertwined anyway, right? But they're not solely focused on the actual pandemic, but rather more of what we did during the initial um, few weeks of the closure. I started with a four by six journaling card and I just set the tone for the rest of the pages. I wrote about how I was feeling that morning and then how I felt um, in the evening and just a little bit of what was going on in my mind at that time. This is not a digital card but rather what I did was I measured how much space there was here and then created a text box in Adobe Photoshop and then ran that through my little printer. I used four wood veneer stars that came as an add-on for another kit. I used this color green as my visual triangle in these three spots. This wood veneer I used ink to color it yellow to complement this yellow, that yellow, and that yellow so yet another visual triangle. And I really like the way this card came out. Uh, it says March 2020, get outside, spring together right now. I felt that was a good summary. And one of my goals has been to use these word phrases more often. I took a screenshot of my ancestry DNA and added it to this pocket here. I thought that was cool, the way it shows my name and the highlights the places of my ancestors. And just a shot of the sunset. I remember to actually date these photos. <laughs> I've been forgetting to do that lately. On the right side I have 
the awesome new configuration for the page protectors. Quite some time ago, I created a page protector that had a 4x6 with a 3x4. And to me, this is so visually pleasing because it creates a visual triangle with the 4x6 and then with the 3x4. I um, sent the idea to Allie Edwards and I can't believe she went ahead and started creating these page protectors. And what I like also about this page protector is that you can pair your story with the photo right in the same column. So you can look at it like, you know, in three rule of thirds, right? So I love, love, love this. Okay, <laughs> now to the actual uh, stories. This was a 4x6 card, and I used a die, a word bubble die, to um, create this. Let me show you the die. I want to say it's from Lawn Fawn. So this is what it looks like, and I just, I just put it on top of the... So all of this was white, and so it was like a journaling card. And then I ran it through my die cutting machine and was able to get this really cool speech bubble. Here's what it looked like, see? And then, whoop, I did that. So much fun. I really wanted to use the card, but I didn't have space for it, and um, that's the idea I came up with. This was a 4x6 card. I really liked the sentiment on there, so I just fussy cut around it and paired it with this picture here of my daughter. Another reason why I wanted to use it was because I wanted the three yellows. And that's pretty much it. A little bit of journaling there. This month I created an insert that is sized 6x8 using the 2x2 two two pocket page protector. And this is what it looks like. Let me zoom you in a little bit. There we go, so you can get more details. I just paired matching chipboards on both sides so that I could create this floating effect for the chipboard. I created this little journaling spot using the one of the stamps, so I did it there, and then I did it on the back side as well. This was another of the stamps. And again, just included little snippets of what was happening during the month, a lot of outside time for us, and then online learning. That was the insert. I'm also including an insert that includes a um, birth announcement of my of my niece, but I want to cover up the personal information. So I'm including this in a five by seven in the album because that was a really big deal. She was born in February, but the announcement came in March, and that is. Oh, I have, oh no, <laughs> I forgot one page. Here, let's go back. Okay. The back side of the right side includes these pictures of my son cleaning his room and organizing it. I was determined to clean. I don't know, I think that's how I was dealing with stress in the beginning, was cleaning. But I also had to clean for the wedding and the pool and all that business, so just little stories about my son and his room spring cleaning. This was actually a digital template from Kathy Zilski and I included it in that 4x6 packet. So again the visual triangle of the cards and then the pictures. And that is it my friends. Super easy although it took forever. <laughs> so there's that. This page here, I'll show you real quick because you saw it, but this is um, for April, and I'll go into detail about this page when I share my April pages with you guys. That is it. That is all I have for you today. Please um, let me know if you have any questions 
or comments down in the box below, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye-bye.